Okay, in today's video, I'll be showing a dual phone setup for IRL Pokemon Go streaming. One of the phones will have to be an iPhone in order to utilize some of the features of picture in picture and screen sharing. Here I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max with the Moblin app installed. And here I have a Samsung S21 Ultra. Out of these two phones, only the Samsung S21 Ultra has a SIM card installed. So here we have the screen of the Samsung S21 Ultra. I will now enable the hotspot of this phone. So we drag down, we drag down again. We will now tap and hold on the mobile hotspot setting. Here, we will now configure the mobile hotspot to be the five gigahertz band. So we click configure, we'll click on band, and now we will select five gigahertz preferred. And now we will save, and now we will enable the mobile hotspot. Now that we have the S21 in hotspot mode, we will now use the iPhone to connect to that Wi-Fi. So now we will select S21 hotspot, and now we will enter in the password. And now we have connected to the hotspot of the Samsung S21 Ultra. First thing we want to do is to create an RTMP server. We'll go into the cog wheel. We'll scroll down to RTMP server. Make sure it is disabled. We'll scroll down a little bit further and create a new RTMP server. We'll now click on my stream. We will now change the name of this server to be done. Change the stream key to be something a little more simpler. I will also now change the latency from 2000 down to 250, which is the recommended minimum. I'm also going to disable the microphone because we don't need to hear the audio from the screen share. Now that we have enabled the RTMP servers, we need to go back down into the newly created RTMP server for the S21 screen share and grab the corresponding Wi-Fi RTMP address. Now switching over to the Android in order to start the screen share. Now that Larix Screencaster is installed, we will now configure the outbound stream to be the RTMP address that we've set up in the iPhone. So we click on the Larix Screencaster app. We go into settings. We'll go into connections. We'll go new connection. We'll give this a name. I will give it to RTMP Moblum. The URL is what we will use that we have set up in the RTMP server within the Moblin app. Now that we've set up the connection, we will now configure the video to be H.264 as well as setting the bitrate for the screen share stream. Click on video, we'll set the bitrate to 2000, we will set the format to H.264. Okay, we are in the scene utilizing the front facing camera of the iPhone. We'll go into the cog wheel, we'll go into scenes. Now we'll need to scroll down and create a widget based on the RTMP screen share. So we keep going down, create my widget. We will now enter in the widget's name, widget RTMP S21. For the type, we will now select video source. Now for the video source, we will select the RTMP server that we created earlier. And then we go back out, making sure that the newly created widget is enabled. We will scroll up to the scene that we want this widget to be shown on front. Now we'll scroll down to add this new widget that we have just created, add. And from our list of widgets, WID RTMP S21. And now this widget is part of this scene. Now, if we were to start the screen share from the Android device, it will now show up as a widget within the Moblin device. But there's a few more things we need to do in order to make it a bit more visually friendly. 
now that we have the screen share from the Android phone to be an active source within the scene of Moblin, we can now fine tune the widget sizing. So we go back into the cog wheel, we go into scenes, we go into the front scene. We'll now scroll down to the widget. We'll now select the widget. Now we can change the sizing and position of this widget. So now we can increase the size. We can also change the position. Now that we have positioned in a location that we want it to be, we will now go into the widget shortcut and now we will scroll down to do some fine cropping on the source itself. So now we will enable crop and then using this draw box, we will now change what we want to crop out. Now that we've cropped to the best of our abilities, we can now go back out and reposition again to where you want this to be. Okay, close. Right, now that we have the position of the widget as close as we where we want to be, we can now start to run the Pokemon Go app. So now we will load up the Pokemon Go app on the Android device. If we go back onto the iPhone screen, so what you're seeing now is the screen in mirrored view, but when it is live, it will be in the correct orientation. Now that we have the Pokemon Go up and running, we can now start to play while at the same time having a camera feed from the Moblin app. Now, if I were to go live on the iPhone, you will see that the stream itself will be in the correct orientation. So now let's go live. The iPhone is now using the Moblin app to go live to the Bellabox cloud. I will now switch to the Bellabox scene. Okay, and this is the stream coming in from the Moblin app running on the iPhone with the Pokemon Go as a picture in picture on the same stream. Okay, that was the front facing camera. We can now add the same widget to a different scene. Right now, we can select our back scene, which is using the iPhone's rear camera. So we need to add the widget into the back scene. So we go into scenes, we go into the back scene. We will now scroll down and add RTMP S21 widget. And now we should be able to switch between the two scenes on the iPhone and we will have to reposition the widget to a location that we want it to go to. So we go into the cogwheel scenes. We will now scroll to the back scene. We'll now scroll down and select the RTMP S21 widget. And now we will reposition it to a location where we want it to go to. Okay, we've now added the widget to a different scene. This time we are using the rear camera and in this particular scene, I also have the front facing camera as another widget on this rear scene. So we have the ability to have a front and back picture along with the Pokemon Go screen on the same scene. So right now I'm just spinning Pokemon Go. And if we go down to, we able to see that on screen. And that is how you are able to add a screen share from an Android phone to stream into an iPhone and then stream out to the BellaBox cloud.